Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am filming a simple intro because it is almost midnight and I realize I didn't film an intro for my new video. I am doing an Ikea Hacks video today and the Ikea Hacks in this video are super, super amazing. Like they are kind of random when you put them together. Like they kind of are for different areas in your home. Like one could be for the living room, one could be for the bedroom. But at the same time, I think that you can definitely like universally use these around your home and I think you guys are going to love these. So if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Click that red subscribe button below and make sure to click the bell right Right next to it i post brand new home decor and diy content every single week but let's just jump into today's ikea hacks all right so first thing is that i need to brush up on my swedish apparently because this is called the hemgejord containers you get two of them in a pack from ikea and i'm starting off with these as the base for this hack and i'm also going to be using some of the macrame cord i featured in my last amazon video i'll link it below again for you guys but i'm basically going to start off by cutting these into strips and i'm cutting a total of 12 strips six of them are going to be shorter and then six of them are going to be longer here are the exact measurements i used so the reason that we do this is because the center sections of our weaving is going to be the shorter sections and then the outermost sections are going to be the longer ones you're going to see what i'm talking about in a second so grab two shorter ones and two longer ones and tie them in a knot together you're going to use a pair of scissors to create a hole on the bottom side of your tray and these are kind of like a hard wicker material so you can create a hole very easily by just twisting some scissors pull through all four strands and then make sure that the two shorter strands are in the center and your two longer strands are on either the left and right side so what we're going to be doing is creating a spiral knot as i like to call it it's probably not even called that but basically how you have to do this this is like I always say a little bit more easier if you just look at what I'm doing you're going to take your right strand and pass it over the two on the center and then take your left strand and then go over the top of it under and through the back side and from here on out you're basically going to be repeating those steps until you have your desired length of the actual macrame I did about 10 inches on mine because I also wanted to add a bead and then I also just wanted some of the rope to be like very free and not macrame -ed. so I did a total of 10 inches of this spiral macrame and as you go it'll start spiraling so you're gonna kind of have to twist your tray as you actually macrame because it's just a little bit easier like that so here's a little bit of a longer section and you're just going to complete it off Once you're all done with that, I took one of these Amazon wood beads. These are wide hold wood beads. That was such a hard set of words to say. And I'm gonna put all four strands through it. And as you can see, it fits perfectly on top. I just like the way that this looked. I thought I added a really nice little handmade touch to this. And you're going to be repeating this process on three sides. As you could see here, I did three sides. You could do four if you wanted it to be a little bit more sturdy. And then what I am doing is taking the smaller tray that it comes with as well and doing the same process of just punching through three holes holes and then stringing through the three sections on the back side make sure to tie knots at the top too so that way that it has a little like area for the tray to rest on uh, you guys can probably see what it looks like here it's just basically going to be a hanging tray and then once i got to the end i actually went ahead and i just wrapped all 12 strands in a loop and then i took one of the longest strands and wrapped it around there to kind of just create a very finished off loop so i repeated this all the way up wrapped it around um, you can tie this off once you get to the end, snip all your extra threads, and I think this is such a cute little plant holder. You can put big plants on this, a collection of small plants, whatever your heart desires. This Swedish word's not that hard. We're using the Stefan chair. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it is the cheapest chair at Ikea. It is $25 and it looks like this. It is a dark, dark espresso brown chair. And what I started off by doing was building that or while well, my friend actually built it for me because he was hanging out with me. And then I took some of the same exact macrame cord that I used in the first project. There are actually a lot of macrame cord projects in this video. And I took off a long section and I am going to be doing this kind of like weaving type 
technique that I've been doing a lot on my channel lately. I swear guys, I'm going to stop it soon, but I'm just obsessed with it at the moment. And all I'm doing is going in and out, in and out and wrapping around the entire backside of this chair. This is something that's a little bit more easier for you to see. Like I always say, if you just look at what I'm doing. So I'm basically going in and out of every other bar to get this kind of rope to sit on the chair back. And it's very repetitive. So you're just gonna go all the way up. And if you do run out of cord at one point, um, you can tie it off and then start again. Just try to make sure that you hide your knot on the inside uh, and then start off again. As you can see, I had to do so here. The knot is on the left side. You can kind of see it a little bit there, but it's pretty much hidden. And you're gonna be repeating the process going all the way up to the top. You could leave it like half done if you want to, or you can just do those center three bars. But in the end, I swear to you guys, this $25 chair looks like it could have been like a West Elm $100 or even $200 chair. I love the way that it turned out. And I think if you did this to a large table, like with a set of eight and you really took your time, it can look so incredibly amazing. And I'm really happy with the outcome. Right into project number three, I'm using the Complement uh, scarf holder. These are woven ring scarf holders. I've actually used this in a past IKEA hacks video, but today I wanted to create a wall hanging with some assorted yarns. So I pulled some yarns out of my collection and this is super, super simple and definitely something you can customize to your own space. You can also add things like fabric strips or different um, textures of strings, like maybe hemp rope or something like that. But what I did was I cut different strands of yarns and I like to vary the thicknesses because I feel like it adds a lot of texture. I love this green one too because it has different colors in it and it also has different thicknesses in it. So basically what I did was I just took them, cut them into strips and then looped them and then pulled the ends through the loop and just looped them all across the loops. That was a lot of loops, but I think you guys can kind of tell what I'm doing. I'm looping them everywhere, just filling up the entire bottom section. I was originally going to actually fill the entire thing up and I thought this was such a great base for a project like this because when I was thinking to myself like how people make these yarn hangings, I'm always like, what base did they use to create this? This is such a great base that is super, super affordable. I think this is like $5 at Ikea to create a yarn hanging like this and you can even pull the yarns off in the future and maybe do a new color palette if you wanted to. I actually stuck to just doing the bottom section of this because I thought it looked really, really cool having some exposed rings at the top, but you can fill it in entirely if you want to do so. And that finishes off your wall hanging. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the one I've been waiting for. I'm using this shelf unit, actually two of them. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. I think we're over me trying to pronounce these names, but this is a legit hack. It's not really that much DIY, but I am hacking the system on one of the items. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna unpack everything from both boxes to start off with, and I'm going to be taking the red portions and fully spray painting them white. So here I am naked. Just kidding, I'm actually not, but it looks like I am. I'm going to be spraying these with some white spray paint. It was super sunny outside. I still don't understand why Los Angeles decides to be 98 degrees in the fall time, but I guess it honestly helps with the drying process, so I can't be that mad at it. So I went ahead and I did a lot of coats of spray paint on all this to get every single spot of red fully covered. I also ended up going in with like a sealant coat in the end, but I forgot to film that portion. So here comes the kind of hack portion. So what you're going to start off by doing is actually assembling one of the units exactly as shown in the instructions. So exactly how Ikea sells it, you're going to be assembling it exactly as it's shown, as I've said nine times now. You probably understand what I'm doing. So if you purchase this, you're gonna know what to do. Just follow the instructions. And for the second one, you're going to be assembling it the same exact way, but all you have to do is actually just flip the shelves 180 degrees. So you're just going to basically flip them to where the mounting kind of holes are now going to be on the front side, because what you're gonna to wanna to do with this is actually be able to rotate it 180 degrees and have it be flipped. And you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. This just makes it so that you have the mounting holes. You could do this if you wanted to, but the thing that would happen um, if you were to just assemble both as the instructions would show is that you'd actually be able to see the little metal bits on the underside. So this just allows it to be very clean from all angles. 
and you're going to assemble that with a screwdriver. The shape we're kind of going after is this shape here. So this is what we're going to be mounting it on the wall like. Now I do want to give you guys a disclaimer. I mounted it on the wall using some string hanging over the banister and then I attached them together with some string as well because honestly I didn't want to drill it into the wall because I want to use this in someone's future apartment makeover. But as you can see, you can mount it on the wall perfectly. <laughs> And that was my video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed those Ikea hacks and I hope that you guys can find maybe one or two or even four of those projects. Very useful and handy for your guys' apartment or bedroom or wherever the space is that you wanna make over. Very universal as well. So you can kind of change things to fit your color palette or whatever you wanna do with those. But without further ado, I'm not gonna keep you for much longer. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week here on Lone Fox. And you can also follow Lone Fox on Instagram. It is Lone Fox Home for more behind the scenes type of stuff. I post stories over there, polls over there. I interact with you guys a lot over there, so make sure to follow me as well over there. And lastly, if you are new to my channel, I have done multiple IKEA hacks in the past. I'll put a card up there with a couple other videos for you guys to check out after this one, because you're going to love those ones as well. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Happy Halloween if you happen to be watching this right before Halloween, because I think this is going up right around like October 20, whatever tomorrow was, like 6th or 7th or something. So I hope you guys have a great Halloween, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys!